Okay, so I'm actually up at Mole Valley, which is an agricultural merchant's near me. Part one, I've been in the store with Michael and I bought a chainsaw, a new chainsaw which I needed. Um, part two, we're looking around the outside of Mole Valley, which is, I think, a quite interesting place to look from a farmer's point of view, at all the stuff they've got. I'm also going to look in the feed store because I have a collection note for some chicken food. So we're going to go and get some chicken food and then hopefully someone's going to show me around what they've got. And I just have a quick nose around myself. Look, here we go. These are these are mats. These are cubicle mats. I think they're horse mats as well. You can use them for horses or, or large animals like cows. They go down. We, we've got those at home. And then we've got smokeless fuel. This is where I'm goods in. This is where I'm coming to collect my chicken food. Michael, there you go, mate. Hello, Hello mate. Are you, can I jump over here? Yeah, yeah, come across. You're, you're, the one helping you. you're giving me a guided tour, are you? A guided tour. Good man. And I'm going to collect the chicken food. Yeah. But I'll get it out at the end, right at the very end. So, should we look in outside first and then come back and get the chicken food? That's fine by me. Brilliant. Right, lead on. I'll get around here. Do you want to look at everything, like down the yard? Yeah, that's where okay, I want to go that, and look around here. You have to be wearing a lovely pink eye oh, if you don't mind. Really? Okay, let's do that. I'll go grab you one now then, and then we can adventure the land. So up on the top area, it's all like the timber, yeah. window, like um, green, brown. Green and brown, so green's preservative, is it? And brown is... Oh, uh, they're all treated, oh. they're all right. treated. There I've go. got pink! Awesome, mate! It says visitor on the back. Hold that a minute, I'll put this on. There you go. Right, you're filming away, right, <laughs> look at this. High vis in the pink. Well, I am the funky farmer. <laughs> Oh mate, this is awesome. I might like to keep this and walk this down, get to wear this down the pub. <laughs> well, the lads will love you. What's your name, mate? My name's Frank. Frank, Frank, we're going to have a little tour around. The whole of the world is going to know you, Frank, by the oh, time we've finished here. I have seen your YouTube. Have you? I have. Oh, well done. Well, you're in one now. I bet you didn't oh, expect that today, did no, you? No, I did not. Frank, so what have we got here? We In your yard then, so what's your role in the yard? Well, I'm I'm meant to be in the feed store. Okay. but. I like to help out here just yeah. in case it gets a few low. Like right now, it's only me and another chap because mm. deliveries are being made. Yeah. But we 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 do have like signs for everything. Mm. We also have aisle rows. So you got ED. Oh, I see. So, so how I like to say it is, these two are areas is mm. all brownwood. Yeah. And all that over there is greenwood, and it's all treated. Okay. So, so what do you want to go look at? Well, let's go and have a look. I won't go through everything. We could be here all day, couldn't we? <laughs> But I'm, I'm quite interested. So what, what have you got here? Is this for gardens? This is for a bit of everything, really. So yeah. you've, got, you've got a lot of panel, uh, like battens or yeah. rails. So we've got the, the old farmer's rail. So you'd use that for fencing down a drive or anywhere, really. That's yeah. a good, good long length, that, isn't it? I think that's 4.8. Oh, you know your figures as well. <laughs> Michael knew his in the, in the thing. You know so yours out here. We know some of the lengths, but we don't know the prices because they, they fluctuate yeah, every, every I bet they do. How, let me ask you something. How many people come in here and ask for in, in imperial measurements? Oof. A lot of people. A lot of people. Lot Older of people. people? Any younger people come in and to ask? To be honest, a bit of both. Really? I don't really mind it because they still know the new metric. And yeah. That. So it's quite easy just to tell them. Yeah. You know your imperial as well as your metric then? Yes. So we got wood here. Now we're going on down here various things here we so we oh, a lot of fence panels and we've got mineral licks here this is the sort of thing i would buy energy blocks that's for i think you bought that last time yeah i think here. i probably remember do you yeah i did i wasn't in. working here though but i got told it oh yeah i did i bought some of that and then so it's quite a few it's a lot to see here. i love yeah. this place so in here we've got the old railway sleepers yes yeah, so those are creosote so yeah I recommend putting them in your garden now i buy these actually for fencing posts because they are really good because they're so well preserved and they go in the ground and they'll last 40 years the only bad downside is it, it mm. just kills the grass but they're still very well, I don't good seem to, it doesn't seem to do that i don't have that really? problem never had a problem with killing the grass in the That's ground good, then. <laughs> they go they go in the ground and the grass will grow up to them and it's fine they're brilliant so you sell those and uh, so this is all your green well i see what you mean it's very green isn't it yes when you go home at night you just see green in front of you when you sleep maybe <laughs> So the other gas bottles, he was, Michael was telling me it's hard to get gas at the moment. Yes, um, normally we have a, people come in, it's like you exchange it for the mm. empty one. Yeah. For the, and we, we've been running out recently. Yeah. Because I, I don't know what it is about them. Just, just supply on COVID. Yeah. So now I came down here before, now we've got, you've got so much timber, haven't you? Well, the creosoted posts over there, that's what I use. 
Creus Oak is very good for like um, electric fences. Mm, That's what a lot of people buy them. Oh, so look, let's have a look at what I mean by creosote is the brown timber over here. And then we'll have a look at lot of your galvanised ware, because you can lots of shiny stuff here, isn't it? Yes, indeed. So this is, I can smell it. Now, what I like about this is I'm walking up to the smell. I said that before when I came here, the smell of a place. I can smell the creosote. In fact, it's quite warm today, and you can see it sort of running off the post, yeah. don't you? It sort of exudes the creosote. You can and actually... Like it's got its own tan. Yeah. But this stuff, I think it says somewhere, look, yeah, here we go. Desired service life, 40 years. Now that to me is good news, compared with some of the green stuff I have yeah. used in the past. This stuff, that's why I've switched totally to creosote. And you've got a lot of it here, yeah. haven't you? Wow. You've got to be yeah. careful you don't get it on your jacket when you're Oh, I was carrying it earlier, it. so it's all over me right You'll now. You'll go home smelling of it, won't you? I don't mind the smell, to be honest. I like the smell. So what, so last time I came here, I had troughs over there, but they're, yeah. not, they're not there now, you've moved yeah, they're them. they're over there. Uh, tuck around. Let's go have a look at your stack of troughs because <laughs> I love a trough. <laughs> so people buy them for all sorts. Of, this, I had some people come in for do a flower bed in them. Really? Yeah, they look yeah. quite good in the garden actually, don't they? Yeah. So this time of year, you must be selling a lot of um, a lot of uh, fencing stuff, I guess. Because spring here, people start doing a lot of fencing work. Yeah, we have been selling a lot recently. We've because how much we sell, we now put them at the front. Yeah. Like we we see how many we sell. Yeah. Like Say the three feet we sell the most, we put five, three feet at the right. top of it. Just makes life a bit easier. So here's the troughs then. So you, you've got, well, there's some big ones there, aren't they? Do you sell many, you don't probably sell many that size, do you? No. <laughs> oh, and he tripped over then. <laughs> so there's the big size there. How long's that? That's a Ooh. 10 foot, is it? I think it would be most likely eight. I don't, I'm not too sure. That's a long one anyway. Let's just call it a long trough. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't have a label on it. That's, that's how. So these are, these are more what you sell regularly, isn't it? So yes. these, if everyone probably isn't aware, these are what we call water troughs, and we put them in the cattle sheds and in the fields for cattle. Um, so I would probably buy one like that for a field. What's that one? Five foot. I didn't bring my tape. No, sorry. Probably, uh, but these are more for in sheds, and and these are quite small, aren't they? No. Oh, there's some lambs there. I just noticed. These would probably be quite good for. Couple of calves. Oh, they got labels on them. Yeah. It's IAE, isn't it? Now they're quite a big, well-known firm, aren't yeah, they? Yes, that's what most of our galvanised things are here. Is there a problem getting stock of some galvanised stuff at all? Lock I'm not too sure on the stocks, really. Mm. I'm not the person to ask for that. No. Well, you've got some here anyway. That's yeah. the main thing. Let's go and have a look at your other galvanised stuff before we get back to the uh, the store where I'm going to get my chicken food. <laughs> that's another big seller. The, Is it the ch chicken? Chicks crumbs, I think. Is it? Yeah. That right. and layered pellets and mixed poultry is the two we sell most. Right. So. Is it really? Yeah. Wow. You got a Christmas tree over there. I think that was that was left over from Christmas, is it? I think so. <laughs> I haven't been here long myself, but I do quite like it. Have you? Here. How long have you worked here then? Since the start of December. Oh right, Are you enjoying it? Yeah, I, I like it. I love it. I oh, get to work outside. Quite, I was going to say, quite a nice job, really. You get to work inside and outside. Yeah. And so, how your customers mostly? Because you're working in this section, are you mostly meeting sort of people that work on farms or construction or something? All sorts. Because obviously, we do we do a lot of like farming and just construct. Obviously, the wood. Yeah. So we have some contractors come in some mm. days, and just random nice people overall, mm. like. Um, a lady coming in for a few pieces of wood to fix something. Yeah. So I, I, I meet a lot of lovely people here, like yourself. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's okay. And yeah, I just enjoy, enjoy meeting it. new people. I, I think I would like working in a place like this, to be honest, because I think I'd like the fact that you've got a bit of outside and inside, and, and also you get a, a variety of people all the time coming through, don't you? So it's yes. quite a, a mixed day, isn't it? Yeah. Obviously you get some bad customers, but that didn't... I, I rarely you know, get a bad no. customer. I, I work weekends mostly, Yeah. because I, I got college in the week, so... Oh, okay. Okay, what are you doing at college? Carpenter. Are you? Not really the best at no, it. No, well, fair play. But, so plenty um, of wood here to practice yeah. on then. <laughs> I bet Mole Valley don't like you getting a saw out though, do they? No, I, I don't really take any home. <laughs> yeah, no. But um, Oh, yeah, that's we, good. We do get a lot of nice customers yeah. here, and the likelihood of a bad customer is not that high, no. really. Oh, that's so nice. Don't really to, get many of them. That's really nice to hear, mate. So here we are now. This is, whoa, you look at all these stacked up here. Shiny out of the dip because they, they dip them, don't they? Gold, yes. It's galvanized dipped, isn't it? It's a steel oh, big bath. gate uh, and they drop them down. And you can sometimes see the sort of 
the cellular structure, if you like, almost of the metal as it sticks to the um, steel underneath. But so you've got yard gates and field gates. These are field gates, I think, are they? They're uh, yeah, they're slightly right. thinner bars, aren't they? Usually on a field so gate. So we do all different kinds. We do ones, well, they all for s certain like animals and that. Yeah. So the thicker the bar. Yeah. Obviously, the like a cow maybe. Yeah. So for like, fences like these. Yeah. It might be chickens in the place or something. Oh, okay, or sheep or something. Is it? Yeah. So you got the mesh in these because I, I would never have a gate like that because I don't need it. But you got yeah. the mesh for anything small that could stop it getting through the bottom. Like Whereas there's a fox that wants to <laughs> right. Eat oh yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah. So these these are um, sort of how long the gates that? Ooh. That's quite a 15 foot, I would have thought, isn't it? See, I'm still talking old money here. Generally, field gates on 14, farms. 14 feet. 14 foot. So I was, some, I was a foot out. Some do have these. Are the labels you want to check. So they say all the measurements. Okay, yeah, I can see now. They got the. But not all things have them on them, sadly. Yeah. So 14 foot. What do you reckon your biggest selling gate is? When lengthwise? That's probably a difficult question I to think answer. 15 feet. Yeah. Or maybe these ones might be the longest here. Yeah, it's either 15 Well, that's or a 15 below, isn't it? Because if that's a 14, that one's bigger, isn't it? So yeah. that's the 15. That's the gate I would always buy in a field because it gives you plenty of room to get a tractor or yeah. something through an implement without taking a gate post out. Yeah. Unfortunately, I do have a few 10 foot gates on the farm, and that's always a bit of a nightmare because when you're going through them, you're like, oh, I'm going <laughs> to take that post out, and I have done that. Ben, I mentioned the wall I knocked down on the farm the other day, which I haven't shown you on YouTube yet. <laughs> um, yeah. So more gates lots also, of gates we also do get i don't think we have any right now but they they have like a plank of wood at the bottom right what's and that those, for those are for cows because it's quite sturdy and okay strong. all right now now we're into the other stuff the other galvanized stuff See, least, I, don't, I don't know many of the things it's a cattle here. crush this yeah. is a cattle crush here sometimes you're, you're wanted is it no these are the forklift people all uh, right so look at this this is i haven't seen one of these in operation but Big heavy duty crushes here. So yeah, I, we don't. I don't really sell these much because no. not many people buy them. You're not going to sell them much. No. Gates are going to fly out all the time, aren't oh, they? Yeah. But a cattle crush is a is a purchase you don't buy lightly. But you can, good to see it though, isn't it? And they, what are these? These are creep feeders for sheep, are they? Sheep, cow, mostly sheep. Yeah. Yeah. We so you put more put some ration in there for sheep. <coughs> Little heads go down in there. I think one of our longest is there. Yes, right. It is. One of our longest feeders, like is water it? things. So, and also at the back, I noticed you've got all the ring feeders. Now, these are the ones I buy. The problem you've got now is that if I said to you today, I want a ring feeder, you've got to go and get one from right at the back of there, haven't you? But it's fine. If we get a forklift, they can mm. just quickly move all of that. Right. Then if we don't have a forklift, then take so a little while. Quite a selection there, isn't it? Right. So. And this is all of our wheelbarrows as well. Oh, is it? We we are running. We these are flying out as well. Are they? This time of year, everyone's starting to do gardening, aren't they? Because the biggest one we do is a big green one and the Colossus. Which is that one there? Is it that one? No, they're they're proper big. They're two wheeled. Are they? Ones and they've been flying off because of contractors. Yeah, <laughs> the whole world comes to life when spring gets here, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, people start doing stuff. I'm exactly the same. I've got loads. Of, I had, uh, I think, I had 100 fencing stakes off you about three weeks ago got a um creosote ones ready to go fencing right let's go and have a look at um let's walk back up the top then we can go through here if you want you can guide me around i'm lost i'm lost it's a nice place to be lost in to be honest i quite like all the stuff oh, here here's one of our delivery vans coming back is now. he oh yeah mole valley i just seen it right let's head up and get a chicken food okay right Right, I'm going to get myself some chicken pellets now. Leo's pellets. Frank, here we go, mate. There's the collection note. Lead on. Now, ordinarily, I guess the public wouldn't be allowed in this bit, would um, they? We can show people around in them to show them like all the stock we have. Oh, okay. So I'm, I'm not breaking any rules by coming in. Because, like, say, if you wanted to know what we sell, we can show you everything. Wow, look at this. So, so this my Leo's cool. pellets are there. We'll have a quick look at what else you've got before we pick those up. So, that side is the horse side, so every okay. horse related would be over there, and this is just like everything other than that. Yeah. So we've got, um, so we got, got chicken feed in that area. Chicken feed there. 
pig. Creep and pellets. Sheep. So, so that's sheep. There you go. Very obviously sheep. Yeah, sheep on the top there. Pig on the bottom. Is this all uh, Mole Valley's own brand stuff? Is it? Yes. If it has okay. our logo, it should be ours. Super growers. So you write on the bags just for your ease, do you? Because obviously when they're on a shelf like that, if it's not yeah, printed on like yeah. that, it's hard to see what they are, aren't they? Especially two green bags next to each other. Yeah. So you roll, so these are those big chunky things, aren't they? The, yes. the, the sheep eat. And what we got, calf cake here and stuff, have we? Yes, we got- Rear um, pellets. And okay. Ambition. Now we have rear pellets. Sheep coarse mix, that's the stuff that looks like muesli, isn't it? It's got bits of flakes of- um... It's like ground up, I think. Yeah. I don't really sell it. We don't really sell it, Mark. No. I tell you what, you've got a very tidy place. I can't see any split bags or anything. It's really good. And if we do have a slip, slip, split bag, we instantly repair it. Yeah. And we sell it on offer. Well, so. fair play. So what else? These are the licks I was talking about. These are salt yes. licks, aren't they? So we have, we have green and red are our two main ones. Mm. We do have others somewhere. Right. I think they're over there, actually. So... We've got the licks here and we've seen some cattle feed. We're going on round here now. So, oh, oh, okay, so you've got a duty list so you know what to do when you're yes. in here. And also I noticed here you've got clays. Yes, we have multiple variations of clays. We have normal like brown kind of beige. We have orange. Orange. We have black. I can just see the orange. I've got some of those at home. If you didn't know what clays are, clays are actually for clay pigeon shooting. We just call them clays, but they're little round discs that you can shoot up in the air and you can uh, target that. Right, so coming on around here, you've got a lot of clays, you must sell loads. Yeah, different people like different variations, like these ones oh, are okay. um, natural clay. Yeah, so they haven't got any colour on them at all. No. So we're coming on around, calf, calf starter, pick like, first. Is that, is... is that order of date of manufacture, I guess, is it? So you make sell sell the older stock first, yeah? Uh, we we try to sell oh milk replacer. So that's quite important to keep the date on that, right? Yes. Isn't it? I see. And and that's the sell by date on the bottom of there, is it? Uh, I guess. That's the date it runs out. Yeah. yeah. What is this? Is that more a milk formula? Yeah. So that's that's for calf rearing, isn't it? If yes. you if you um, if you're rearing calves, we feed our calves fresh milk, but we only calve all year round, so we haven't got that many calves. Oh, there's my phone going. Hang on, Jack. I'm, it's still in Bartley, mate. Can you make it up to Thornbury? I'll meet you at coffee number one. Well, I'll be leaving soon anyway, all right? Have you got any money on you? Oh, you plonker. Right, I'll have to meet, you have to head to the library or something like that, all right? All right, I'll see you there. I'll be there in about 20 minutes. All right, cheers. Oh, so I'm picking up Jack from school, but I'm going to be late, and he hasn't got any money with him to go to the cafe. So, anyway, never mind, mate. Sorry, then, this is a bit distracted. This, this is another big seller. Yeah. This is a milk replacer. Oh, milk for, replacer. Like sheep and ewes. So it's like a kind of, a kind of another cat. Yeah. Start. So I was just saying, I was always interrupted by the phone call there. So we feel hot feed whole milk to our cows from our cows to our calves because we only get a few calves at a time and there's always cows coming through with colostrum we can't put in the tank so we give it to the calves however if you're in a situation where you've got a lot of young cow, cow, calves sometimes it's easier and maybe cheaper I'm not sure the price to actually feed um, dried milk powder and you reconstitute it and make it into milk to feed to them and that's what this is and there's lambing milk there as well so and we're coming oh blimey I didn't know you did that alpaca food we also lamb and alpaca mix we also do we sold out of them today yeah alpaca winter pallets no way so this is actually kind of perfect guys when we run out we obviously yeah. just that's that was the date for all of them so now that yeah. we don't sell them okay we rub that back when right. we get another lot we write oh, the date so it's really organized isn't it yes you, you have that so that's the expiry date you'd put on there when you know it's got to be consumed by if you like like we still write it on right. the bags yeah but then we still write it there and then if if you don't know the exact like name there is id numbers right on okay. some of them i don't know where no, it is well, uh, i i like this you have you've got a very good store management are you trained on this or do, when they come in do you give you like a training on how to manage the store or is there a store manager um, here we don't have like a proper manager for the feed store yeah. but when i come in here and there's um like a person who's been here longer than me yeah. they kind of gave me the rundown right. and then around here is probably the most helpful part mm. it's all yeah. that's the that's dog food isn't it 
Oh, right. so this tells you where everything in the feed store oh, is. Oh, right, very good. So you look up the rack number, yes. new nuts, lamb primer, wood pellets, barley rings, soothing grain. Fair play, so you've got a ready reckoner almost. And then if if we're busy with customers, like say I'm down the yard, mm. have a thorn, if you put your, that ticket ah, you gave me, yeah, you put yeah. that there, and there should be a bell out here somewhere. Okay. If you just ring that, it'll give yeah. us an alert and we'll come up instantly. Well, that's Try brilliant. To. So just down this last section then, this is, is this horse food? Yes, this I'm is all horse food. Cut, so we got competition mix, let's have a look at some name, conditioning mash, conditioning fiber, happy hoof, I love a happy hoof. Uh, cool mix for dudes, life balancer, daily balancer, slow release energy cubes, speedy mash fiber, essential horse and pony cubes, high fiber cubes, cool, blimey, soothing grain, veteran vitality, cool and collected, fast fiber, calm and condition, level grow cubes, relievy mix, relievy mix. Uh, <laughs> I want some relievy mix, I think. <laughs> Shape up, and what we got down finally, let's have a look at that. Uh, I can't even read that label. Stam 30, Stam 30. So this is a uh, one we sell a lot right now. Right, uh, yeah. Is that um, a particularly good brand? Does everyone like that? Or is uh, it? A lot of people do like it. Yeah. Um, I think the one we sell the most is either Fiber Balance or right. Working. Okay. I myself, I don't really own horses, so I don't really know <laughs> what no. the difference is a lot of the stuff. No good there. asking me either, but I presume they all have a different, you know, thing. Purpose. And also, I i don't think, is it colic or something that um, horses get? I can't remember what it is, or something. I don't know, sorry. <laughs> Look at this, I, I have no idea what I'm talking about. I will shut up about horses now because I would just say something stupid. I probably already have. So, there's loads of them. I can't believe the names. And we're coming on down. Micro Barley, Cut Maze, Whole Wheat, Bran. Speedy beat. So are we get into the dog food now? Oh, we don't sell the dog, oh, the dog food. food is yeah. in there, isn't it? So this is, don't tell me this section is all horse, is it? This section is all horse. Blow, this is all horse. So. Karma the, complete. A, a one we do Oh, you've just made my day though, mate. I've just seen this one. Donkey forage balancer. Doesn't everyone just love a donkey? I love to hope that a donkey has a balanced diet. We do diet. have Molly Chaff donkey as well. Molly Chaff Molly donkey. Molly Chaff is probably one of the things we sell the most as well. That's is like, it? Yes. Oh, everyone loves a donkey. You've got to look after a donkey, haven't you? I love you? donkeys. Wonky donkey. Look at it. Oh, wait. Well, I think that's a good way to finish on a donkey bit, on a donkey note. We all love a donkey, don't yes. we? Right, I'm going to go and get... Uh, we've got to get that bag of whatever it was I've ordered. Layers mat pellets, isn't it? Yeah. And then I better go and get my son who's got no money and is heading to a cafe to sit there. <laughs> Wait for me. I right, mate, can you carry it. that? Because yeah, you're, a, you're a big, strong lad. <laughs> I'll put it in my car. Uh, I'll go and get the chainsaw as well. <laughs> Lead on. Thanks, Frank. Okay. Frank, you're a star. Thank That's you very much. Good. As long as I can help. All right, just got my trolley load. Frank's by the car, he's got his bag. I'm loading up the go home. What a lovely little trip around the Malt Valley I've had. Brilliant. Cheers, Frank. Thanks very much. You're brilliant. Thanks That's a lot. Okay. All the best. Thank you. Have a lovely day. There we go. Right. Well, I'm off home now. I've got chainsaw. I've got chicken food. I've got K-Mars. What else did I get? It's like a cuddly toy. I've got some chainsaw oil and a tool pack and some goggles. Um, big thanks to Mole Valley for showing me around here um, I, I kind of like hope that some of you like enjoyed seeing this for everyone some people it might be like oh why are you going around that but I think you know it's quite an interesting thing to see these places that where farmers get all their stuff from and, and I wonder how it compares with sort of stores where you are if you've got anything equivalent of this where you live if you're a farmer or someone who uses these sort of places anyway right i better get back jack's gonna be sat in a cafe waiting for me <laughs> with no money right crack on everyone let's get chainsawing i think that'll be another video let's hope i don't break this one cheers